Hey guys, Rob here and welcome to another ConjureCast. So after many, many months of waiting, I can say that I finally, finally have the G-Boots in my hands. Um, I won a YouTube contest that G-Boots and Ricardo Lino put up back in October of last year and the contest basically, um, they agreed to send me a pair of the skins, the G-Boots skins. So while waiting for those skins, I acquired the USD-7 shells that they fit on and some liners and some frames and some wheels. And on top of all that, um, Andrew Kingery at King Souls had made me a set of custom soles for the seven boots, um, kind of in, in anticipation of the G-Boots skins coming. And since then has made another pair of plates for these skates. So he wasn't entirely happy with the final product and he had come up with newer renditions of his sole design and wanted to get the more kind of recent version on this skate before we presented it. So um, I've got that to share with you as well. Also the Kaiser Element 2 frames, um, I haven't skated them yet. I've been skating these solo frames and kind of my one little complaint with that uh, frame was the little bit of stickiness on certain surfaces while doing top sides, especially like dry coping with skateboard deck paint stuck on there. It's like you slide really fast and then you get to a sticking point and it's like a dead stick and just slightly uncomfortable. So. In anticipation of that, Andrew and I uh, decided to come up with a set of side plates for these uh, Element 2 frames. Um, so we'll take a closer look at that as well and kind of where we went with that. But more than anything, I just wanted to share the new G-Boots uh, skates with you. These are marketed as a skate. G-Boots is distributing them as a complete skate. Now, again, everybody knows that it's based on the USD-7 shell. It's an outstanding shell. It kind of has just like a nice big open mold space to it. So it's pretty universal with most feet. And it's also pretty good for putting different liners in. Um, I, I really like the MyFit Crown liner. It's a just thick, dense, comfortable liner and this shell accommodates that uh, liner perfectly. So we'll talk more about that as well. Um, but anyway, that's I wanna jump right into it. I know I'm normally long-winded with all this stuff and I don't wanna uh, make you guys wait too long. So let's go over to the desktop and take a much closer look at the new G-Boots. <music> Guys, let's take a closer look at the new G-Boots. So just about a year ago, we saw G-Boots pop up on Instagram and Facebook. At first, there were some obscure photos of what looked to be a leather or skinned boot. And then eventually we got to see what the whole skate looked like and figure out that it was a skinned uh, USD-7 shell. So Pepe and the guys over in Spain set out to create the boot of the soldiers. This is a really, really tough skin. It's a high quality leather. I mean, this is like artisanal quality Spanish leather. It is not the stuff that we are used to seeing when it comes to like the old Valo or SSM skins, which were kind of just like a, a cheap, hard, thin leather with, you know, kind of like a, an artificial coating and coloring on the surface of it. This is more of a raw leather. To the touch, it feels almost like a soft, soft suede, except it's not suede. It's still got a smooth surface to it. Um, it's, it's the best quality leather I've ever seen used on a skin. Um, I've spoken in the past about the quality of the Adapt uh, Nubuck leather, especially as being a really, really tough and rugged leather. This is more of a soft, supple. It's slightly thinner than like the Adapt skin, but it's definitely thicker than your standard skin of the past. So when they sent me these skins, they sent me just the skins and I had to apply them to my own shells. I will say that if in the future you ever get your hands on a set of these skins and you're thinking about doing it yourself, you might wanna really ask for instructions, um, even hit me up about kind of the process or just purchase the boots as they are and not go through the struggle. The shape of this skin is almost the exact shape of the shell. And if you can imagine the kind of the, the struggle that I had. It took me about one hour per boot to, to install these skins and to do it in a way that made it look nice and smooth and kind of matches up and there's no wrinkles or anything in it. Also, all of the holes for the hardware and the buckle, et cetera, all had to be drilled. So it's just kind of a process. If you're good at modding stuff and have the right tools to deal with this leather, you'll have no problem with it all. 
So the quality of the leather, like I said, really, really good leather. It is tough just trying to uh, pop out the holes and trim the little pieces where I needed to. I could tell that this stuff is really gonna wear strong. And looking at all the photos of the guys using these on Instagram, I see that they're all well used, but they're not really falling apart or breaking up. They do have nice double stitching on here. The, the quality feels really, really good. The little fittings here are, I believe that's like a brass, not just like a plated steel. So I don't have any, you know, worry about that rusting out there. Nice, tough. Uh, this is more of like a suede, uh, rough leather pull tab on the back. This is a tab that I'm comfortable pulling. And when I installed the boot, I did use this as well to kind of pull the heel section on there. So all together, really, really nice, good quality. The contrast stitching looks pretty cool. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it at first. I'm usually more into these subdued colors, but with that like tan hide color there and that light kind of caramel brown stitching there, that goes pretty well. Overall, it just looks really cool. These look good on the foot too. I'm, I'm kind of used to having a skinnier boot on recently, and these are more of a, you know, a wider, fuller looking skate. Um, you know, not super crazy, but it's definitely not a, a low profile, thin skate. One thing I will say about the construction of the skin and how it integrates to the shell, I mean, you can see that there's like little pockets in here for these tabs, so the, the tabs of the cuff line up with that and tuck into that material. The skin serves to kind of hold the whole boot all together. It's up against this plastic and it's like up against there tightly, so when you wear this and you lace it up tight, it doesn't feel just like a, a skin over a plastic shell. It kind of all sucks it together and, and feels more solid and sound, especially combined with the MyFit Crown Liner. Like I said before, it's my favorite of the MyFit liners. These liners have that really good silicone surface on the outer heel, so it's all completely locked in. When I have these on, I have no heel lift, no issues. It just feels good and secure to my foot. So earlier I had mentioned that Andrew at King Souls had made me a fresh set of soles for these. This is more in line with his new style that he has been doing recently with the more pronounced heel fin and the wider, bigger, fatter uh, groove there. You can see that is just a huge groove to match up with that huge groove of the Element 2 frame. And then that brings us to these really, really sweet side plates. So again, I had a little bit of issue with some top side sticking on these solar frames. Not terrible, but I just wanted to just see what we could do about it. And of course, this is just kind of about customizing and modding and making cool stuff. And everything Andrew does is more along the lines of one-off and custom for the individual uh, customer. So when I asked him about making the plates for these, he said, sure, send him the frame out and he would figure it out. So we kind of worked through it and these are actually mounted to the frames through the hollow hardware. I took a tap and die kit and threaded those holes. I've used the old Solomon sole plate hardware. It's just a good countersunk, nice low profile hex head screw. And now these Element 2s are kind of more in line with the original Element frames, which were the, the aluminum subframe with the plastic sliders on the side. These are still nice and thin. It's not going to kind of impede with my wheel clearance as the boot carves on the ground. And you can also see that I've downsized the wheels here. So I'm going with the Go Project CJ 62 millimeter. These are some Eulogy 54s. It's almost flat. There's a little bit of a rocker, which isn't really much of a big deal, but I am really, really excited to try this all out. It's just kind of like a premium custom setup. I've been on the adapts for six, seven months now, and I'm kind of over them, ready to try something new. And this is it. So very, very excited to share with you guys these new G boots. It is a really high quality, cool looking, good fitting skin. And I cannot wait until we get these distributed here in the US. I know you guys are gonna love them. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed checking out the new G boots. I am really excited to go skate these this afternoon and just get into everything about this whole new setup. If you are interested in buying, purchasing G boots uh, here in the United States, if you're here with me in the United States, um, get in touch with me. I, I They don't really have any US distribution set up yet. The shops aren't connected so far that I know of. And I want to 
try to help them get that going. Even if I have to just purchase a couple sets myself and then distribute them here in the US, I think I might try to get something going. So if you're interested in buying some, um, even if it's just the skins and then figuring out how to get them onto the shells, uh, reach out. You guys know where to find me, Instagram, Facebook. Um, leave me a comment here and I'll find you. And um, yeah, so that's the new G boots and I will talk to you guys really soon. Hope you guys have a great week and happy skating. Peace.